Concord Ground, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra at the south gate with uniform. South ramp. The south ramp with uniform. Ready to taxi for a southeast departure. How's it good to me? Concord Ground, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra is at the south ramp with information uniform. Ready to taxi for a southeast departure. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, Concord Ground, runway 20, taxi via Alpha. 20 via Alpha, 526 Delta Sierra. So today I'm flying with Alec, and we're going to see how much you lose when you don't f fly for a while. About three months. I was going to say, so you have eight days left on your VFR currency, which means, give or take, you haven't flown a plane in 82 days. Yep, uh, it's been a while. It's really a two-fold thing. There's mental and there's mechanical, right? How much have you forgotten? I wouldn't think you'd forget the like, basic rules and stuff. Three months isn't that long, but maybe a nuance of something about the plane. Um, I find personally, though, the mechanical part. Landing is a lot of feeling. You might not realize, but feeling the sink, feeling what the plane's Picture doing. And uh, sometimes zero. it takes a few to get that back. Seat inbound for left base, runway 20. But we're going to see. If you don't fly for basically three months, how much does it take to get back? So we're up, do a few maneuvers, uh, a few landings. Track 504, taxi alpha, runway 20. And we may, uh, we'll see how long it takes. Maybe we'll do an instrument approach. We may have to do an instrument approach coming back into here. These clouds are kind of building. Yeah, he was saying expect the ILS 2-0. Yeah, so if they drop right now, they're about 1,700. So if they drop any more, we may have to, uh, have to do an ILS. All right, 69 or 68. 59. Oh, yeah. Already we've forgotten stuff. I was thinking the VX speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, VX is 67. Yeah, I wanted to go, like, I don't know, I was going right for some reason. Sometimes it does. That's to keep you awake, I guess. Alright, so, flaps coming up. Yeah, I usually get a little higher, about 500 AGL. Uh, okay. Alright, fuel pump off. Alright, yep. fuel pump off, propeller back to 24. And then make sure come back a little bit. Up to about 1475. Alright, so we don't have... Uh, steep turn's going to be a little difficult because <laughs> there's no horizon line to look at on the uh, outlet. Um, you'll have to use your heading bug for your stop and start point. Because you're already 100 yep. 160 above your assigned altitude, so... It's a... Uh, a discontinuance. Hi, I don't see any aircraft. I don't see anyone on EDSB. We're outside the Bravo, and that Bravo is 6,000, so we're cool with all that. Gain some speed in that maneuver. That's uh, slower down, and then you a 21 to 23 inches. Once I'm in the turn, is what I find works pretty well. I just leave the prop at 2400. Yep. 5,000, 100 knots. All right, I'm going to go left first. All right, you going to do a left and then right into a right? Uh, sure. Okay. Yep, I feel. Well, remember too, on steep power turn, if you can't get the back pressure to work for you, you can Light a little un while. All right, unroll it a little bit. Leaving altitude. Uh, 220 feet now. All right, just get her back before you hit your 180. I mean, your 360, which is coming up. Yeah. All right, why don't you reset? 
Fair track 380, kind of corner away too. Right. Take so you board. held her steady after you lost the altitude, but you just didn't get that initial back pressure to keep her there. And you can monkey with the trim if you want. I, I prefer just to do it with the stick, but some people like to roll some trim in there. And you, so you were about 20 when we started losing altitude. Also, you can hit, a little hit power. that power a little faster, um, like 21, 23, somewhere in there. And that'll help you climb it. All right, ready right, to go to the right. All right, take two. All right, much better. Don't let her blow when you flatten out. Just roll her right over. Yeah, you're about five degrees early there, but... All right, but only gained 10 feet. That was much better. There it goes. Comes back like riding a bike. Uh, at the start, though, I went up about 150. Ah, uh, sometimes it can do that. You get a little too too aggressive too early. All right. Uh oh, engine fire! Engine fire! I see smoke! I see smoke! All right. Oh crap! So you're supposed to turn some fuel pumps off. Pump off. Fuel tanks uh, off. And mixture out. All right, but how are we gonna put that fire out? Is it 30 degrees? Oh. No more than 30 degree bank, and no put more. that nose down, max airspeed. Leaving altitude. All right, fire's out. And we're looking for the best place to land. Back. Still no engine, but we're looking for a place to land, and what else are we doing? Uh, best glide speed is uh, 68. 73. 73. Uh, about when we're loaded like this. All right, so we're looking for a place to land. That's our first criteria. I see a lot of fields. Yeah, tons of fields. All right, so we picked out a field. What's next? I got a field down here. Okay, and we can make it? Yeah, All right. we're right above it, so I can circle. All right, what's our next two problems? <coughs> uh, next two things to address. Um, I'm letting Concord know. Whoever, ATC, 121.5, whoever you're talking to. Okay, and what's the last thing? Uh, do you squawk 77? Squawk 7700. Okay, we don't have to take it all the way down. All right, all right that's and right. And then, you know, we're this high, so I'd pull out the checklist and try and like reset it. That is true. It. Well, no, you had an engine fire. This okay, wasn't so fire, you don't. Fire, I wouldn't restart it because you might restart the fire. Okay. Right. Uh, but which ones do you pull out the check? Like, so electrical fires out, so it's just like engine dies, engine, so no fire. Right. If the engine stopped with no fire, then I would look because then it might just be you run your tanks run dry. Yeah, you didn't switch the tank like or something, okay. But we've struggled so hard to put the fire out, we don't want to give it a chance. But you're right, fuel pump would come off, fuel selector would go all the way to All the way up. That was, see, I knew you had to do something with that. I was just all right. forgot. Okay. Yeah, those, you don't have time for checklist on that one. That's kind of, you just got to do it. Get, get down and out. Up. Okay. And, and then you would max pitch down. If you start to see the chevrons, I just saw the tip on the bottom there. You know, you don't you don't want to exceed your your any which is uh, your any speed, which is 178, your red line speed right there. Um, and if you start seeing those chevrons coming up, that means you might be diving down too. Too. St yeah, I just got to the bottom of the yellow. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you want to put the fire out. Okay. Pull the power out. We'll nose down. Pick up to about 75, just like a approach, and do power off stall and recover. And try to keep as much. I lose as little altitude as possible. All right, power out. I get 75. All right. 75. I pull up. Keep pulling, keep pulling. And there she goes. All right, well power. Don't let her dive too much. Leaving altitude. All right, and then she builds speeds for recover. So we lost uh, about 240 feet. Too bad. And the one thing with this plane, either need to establish a very high 
pitch or continuously pull. Yeah, just keep pulling. Because uh, it'll either, it'll either sit in a buffet or the other day Chuck was having a problem. She was starting into a spin. Yeah. And we corrected that very easily. He just started pulling out a little faster and kept going and it went right through that. But too slow, she'll want to she'll want to slough off. Okay. It all seems good. It doesn't seem like you've regressed too much in your three months. Well, uh, you haven't seen me land yet. All right. Well, why don't you take me to Anson? And uh, let's just do a regular VFR landing for starts. Anson County traffic diamond five two six Delta Sierra turning final runway one six Anson County will be a full stop to taxi back Anson. All right, so my configured landing strobe. That's takeoff. Fuel pump is on. That's full. All right, just turned your. Uh, I haven't touched mixture. Okay, mixture's good. Turned your lights on. Yep. Be on for you. I mean, yeah, I just did that so you'd have to happy. Not on an instrument approach. I know I'm high, but I think I'm gonna. It's all right. Do you, pretty nice here. Use your visual. I'd point point right at the top of those numbers is a good target. All right, speed looks good. Yeah, you know she's usually going to sink a little bit over these trees. Nope. I said her motor cell, you're a little hot. Alright. Nose to the right, nose to the right. Alright, and nose was too far left. And that exaggerated the... Alright, flare to scotch high. And we're a little crooked. Not, not it looked like my nose was so far to the right, so I put in some left rudder. Uh, no. But that nose, if you're on the center line, look at it right now. That nose, if you're on the center line, it should look like about five degrees to the right of the center line. Yeah, I know, but coming in final, I just felt like it was okay. Well, pointed let's to the right. I don't know. Erase that right. thought. Fuel pump off. All right, now there you go. All right, nose to the right, nose. Okay, high. I got that nose too far. Alright. Nose drifted too far left on you. Alright, ready? Yep. Alright, so clearly my hypothesis was correct. When you don't fly for a while, the, the landing's not necessarily the pattern, but the actual flare touchdown. First thing to go. That's what goes first. Because that's kind of a call it my mechanical analogy, a mechanical it's, thing. It's because you do it by feel, yeah. You do it by feel. And sight picture. You gotta get that sight picture. Sight picture, because like I said, I, I still look like I'm the nose is too far right when I'm coming in on like short final, so I'm doing too much left rudder. And as soon as, as soon as she touches down, you know if she wasn't straight. Even if you do a soft touchdown, if she's not aligned, she's gonna give you that. that. Concord Tower, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, about midfield, left downwind, runway 20. Diamond 26, Delta Sierra, runway 20, clear to land, the wind's 1707. Roger that, clear to land, 2-0, 5 6 Delta Sierra, thanks. 1 7 zero. So It's going to be coming off the left. Uh, so it's only 30 degrees off, that's good, 7 knots. Alright, should be too much of a factor. Alright, 1,000 footers, landing, strobe. I'm under 108, so that's coming in. Fuel pump goes on, propeller goes full. Up. And pitch for speed, power for altitude. I'm trying to get like 85 here, 90 maybe. Okay. I'm going to take a little more power out because I think I'm going to be a little high. Concord Tower, Cherokee, 9745 Whiskey, holding short 20, ready for departure. Cherokee 45 Whiskey, hold short runway 20, landing traffic. Oh, we got, it. Short, we got an audience. Got an audience. Leaving altitude. I'm at 90 now, fast and high. Yep. Don't forget, you got one more notch of flaps. Yep. That'll help slow you down. Okay.
Hang it up and let her come down. Power's out. All right, there you go. Just to the right. Uh. All right, you let her come down better. Hey, you didn't give me any flare. All right, still wasn't horrible. Uh, none of my landings would have killed anyone. Oh, uh, they don't damage the plane, so. Torn the softest. All right, but that was better. You let her get down in the flare. You just, that's where you needed more of your nose up. <laughs> Time to start six Delta Sierra, attack the Echo and Alpha to the ramp, have a good day. Echo Alpha to the ramp, 526 Delta Sierra, thanks you too.